please take the time to pause and read. Hey babes, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kanaya, owner of the channel Kanaya Snuma. This is a freshly washed and deep conditioned hair. If you don't know, I have low porosity hair. My hair type is 3B3C. Um, and we're about to do a wash and go. I literally only use two products, which is a Duke Growth Stimulating Hair Oil for my scalp and the Extreme Professional Styling Gel. Extreme Hold 10. Let's get started. So first, I do oil my scalp. And you have to wash one. Oh, girl, what the fuck is my eye? Oh, God. You have to wash my uh, previous videos. I actually discovered that I didn't touch or wash my hair for like three weeks. Because I'm lazy. I'm a very lazy natural. So, my hair feels very, very, my hair, my scalp feels very, very tender. I don't want to be bothered. So, I'm like, wash and go it is. So, you don't have to be bothered. And that's why this up in two parts. Well, in reality, it's kind of like four, but we're going to start off with two. Like that. And then we're going to tuck the ends and try to get, keep some moisture in. Got another one. See, you lazy natural. Don't replace my scrunchies. I'm terrible. I know. And yes, when I'm applying product, I do apply it in big patches. I know that's like, why? But, cause I'm lazy, like I said, so. I'm gonna try to make this small too. Let's make this a small one. Okay. actually being tucked because on my face. I don't think I need this anymore. Oh, we didn't see anything. Now, this is what she looks like. She's drying out. No biggie. Get your water. Don't be afraid to re-wet it. Like, it's not that deep. And I do squeeze it because I immensely feel like it's doing something. Is it? I don't know. But I feel like it is. <laughs> so we get my gel. We're going to start off with this much. And I'm going to start off with my ends. And work my way up. And then now we're going to do the roots. And I'm separate it. I don't finger coil or anything like that. I just don't care to. That's gonna be my. <laughs> I, think, I think I'm gonna start merch and um get shirts and put that on there. I just don't care to because that's if you watch my hair stuff, that's my hair line because it's the truth. I don't care to. And we'll move on to the next section. And then while you're like, oh my god, that's it, girl. Yeah, that's it. That's it. What else are you supposed to do? What else do you need to do? Nothing. Move on. 
Now for this to be a nice wash and go, like a very defined one, all these parts that I'm making is probably gonna get broken up even more. It's gonna take me longer, but I'm trying to push this. I'm about to say for a week and a half. Let me stop. See, I'm trying to do it all over again. I'm gonna go bring my week and wash it and do it again. But yeah, I was really about to be like, let's not wash our hair for a month again. <laughs> Work our ways on that ends and then go up to the roots and then separate. So this is not finger coiling or anything like that. It's literally just making sure every single strand is covered in product. It's just separating. That's how you get a fuller wash and go. That's how you get a more defined wash and go by separating. But you know when you shrink, it's gonna be like this, so. But when that happens, girl, embrace it because that means you got healthy hair. Well, I'm hungry. Oh, child. Yeah, this is too much hair. So we're gonna break this in half again. All right, did tangle my hair, but having fine, low porosity hair, the wind tangles my hair, so. You're gonna see pixie knots and you're gonna see all that because I want to go rinse the conditioner out. So, yeah, it's gonna happen. It is what it is. I think I'm gonna start putting thicker products in my hair, like uh, she, shea, shea butter or shea butter. Girl, you know what I'm saying. Shea butter, she butter, shea butter. I'm gonna start putting that in my hair, like unscented, just raw. But whipped, so it'd be easy, of course. Because I think a heavier product in my light hair might be better. It might not. But we are on this natural hair journey together. I'm two years deep. I got like many more years to go. Well, I think I'm gonna forever keep growing out my hair. So I don't think I'm ever gonna go back cutting it or anything like that so i think that's the rest of my life but of course i have a hair goal because you should always keep a goal in mind always when it comes to everything in life so my hair goal of course is my bra straps which is gonna be a lot longer for a lot of other people because i'm five nine so yeah it's probably a little further away <laughs> than other people's <laughs> bra straps so But not your fan, because that just means I gotta work a little harder. Which means you're gonna be a lot more worth it, because I'm gonna appreciate it more. That's what that means. When you have to work harder, it means you're gonna appreciate it more. So, don't knock it. Excess gel off. Get my excess gel off of me. Oh, I forgot to say my disclaimer. Girl, I gotta say that all videos because people on YouTube is so weird. Um, everything I'm doing in this video, like my intentions is legit, sorry, legit not for you to be like, you know, oh, I want to do this or even for you to like take this as a tutorial or anything like this. See, told you, that's gonna happen. Um, but just solely because my own, I want to be fan base, but supportive base. It's like I keep obsessed with my hair. I want a lot, a lot more hair content, and they're curious how I wash my hair and how I do my washing goes and things like that. So, this is what this content is. The things that I'm doing in this video, you do not need to do. If you feel like it's incorrect method, I'm gonna let you know now. There is no correct method. It's your hair growing out of your head. If you want to do a hair mask every day, um, well, hot sauce girl is your hair, and it's your money to buy the hot sauce. So, I think y'all be praising these hair people 
on YouTube way too much. And you'd be going out to buy all these expensive products and then be getting so ass hurt when they don't work. But remind you, they've been growing their hair out for 12 years and their hair is, you know, 18, 20 inches long, curly. So, so yeah. And who we're looking at right now. I used to put it in a ponytail, but girl, I like the hard way. Do not put it in a ponytail. <laughs> you will mess everything up. Everything. Everything you just work for. You see this? Look at it. I need to buy new ones. Because I'm getting a bum. <laughs> That's not funny. I'm not like showing you to like, you know, like hee hee ha ha is just like a shake my head all together you know like let's, let's shake our heads together oh god please stop thank you damn i'm gonna let it so this is all puffy it's gonna dry i don't like that because for myself my curls don't pop when it's dry like that and i'm just putting gel on frizz So, to me, to get the best wash and goes, I feel like your hair needs to be pretty soaking wet. I could be wrong. Could be some of those standards are wrong, but my experience for my hair, the best wash and goes is on soaking wet hair. Like, girl, low key dripping. And no, I'm not saying your hair is going to soak it up like a camel because it's a lie. Your hair is alive, but it's not like an alive human. Like, it's not a turtle. Like, it's not going to suck up hair, water for later. But it just takes the gel way better. Or just any products, to be honest. It just takes it way better if it was just on, like, wet-ish hair. I don't know what word to use for wet-ish. <laughs> so we're going to look... So I'm like a child and say wet-ish. So on wet-ish hair. And I just go over it multiple times to make sure I don't have any uh knots. Cause that's the worst thing. Having a nice wash and go, you look your hair around and you just have more and more knots. It's just like making more and more knots. That's the worst thing ever. Been there than that. Don't want to do it again. Okay, and then we're gonna grab another section and we're gonna keep doing this process until you get done. Okay. And I'll be back with the final wet look. <sighs> I'm here. So 
this is the final look. I'm not trying to touch it because I literally just got done washing, like scrubbing my hands. But let me. Gotta wrap up. I'm sleeping. Look, so here's the process of it drying. Still soaking wet, it's not drying. Um, and the crucial part is when it's drying, you need to figure out how you're gonna be laying it. Cause girl, once you lay it, you don't need to be touching it or messing with it. So this is her. This is that. And I will insert a clip um, when it's done completely drying of what it looks like. So. So this is the final look. This is the wash and go after it is completely dry. And like I said, just those two products, cheap uh, shampoo and conditioner, and this is what it gave me. Girl, trust the process.